Hello everybody, my name is Ace Phase. Here's a worm fit for alpha clones that can be used to farm T1 exotic sites really fast. You can earn a 60 to 70 billion iskanar. Depending on how fast you are, you'll probably, if you're slow, earn more towards 50 billion iskanar. But if you're very fast, you'll earn more towards 70 million iskanar. It all depends on how fast you do this. But these, this ship is basically made to do the sites as quickly as possible. We're using the basically like a full DPS fit. So two drone damage amplifiers, a bay loading accelerator too, to be able to do as much DPS as possible. This will, however, require quite a bit of skills. You need to use the like, Tech 2 light missile launchers, got the Tech 2 drones as well. And we've got some, we've got one little blingy module, this Dragorista's small shield booster right here. But... Otherwise, it's not a particularly crazily expensive fit, but it is still something. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to just uh, go in with no skills and die horribly. So make sure you're in a fleet, use Calm Exotic Filament, Activate Filament. And we're going to be doing these sites super fast. So we can go in and go to activate the site. And then we'll go here and just wreck these NPCs here. Now, you could... There, I've seen people putting out fits for doing using the worm in t2s me personally i prefer the t1s the reason is because two reasons it's easier to do the t1s and also that the t1s are so much faster than the t2s uh, that in actuality your disc power is not going to be crazily different it's not going to be like massively increased so you can see here we're taking a bit of damage but it's all right the shield booster is not made to be activated all the time it's just made to be activated when we need it so you can see here we're not cap stable with it on but we can always just activate it we're just going for this lucid watchman right here because he does a bit of damage right here uh, we can just move towards the buy adaptive cash pop one of these right here and move towards it to get some dank loot and shoot this guy right here and there's one thing you need to remember when doing this is that there are people who like to gank people who run worms in the abyss because we're only using that one bling module like that dread Garista's small shield booster so usually it wouldn't really be worth for someone to gank us and kill us you know i'm talking about an actual player but there are people who do that and i have been killed you can see here i was killed once and the reason is because there are people who run these sites in very bling stuff, a lot more bling than I'm doing. So it'll be worth him for him to kill me and take his loot. So just keep in mind, if you see someone outside the site, you want to pull range from him and shoot him straight away as, as soon as he shoots you. If there's just a single destroyer like this, because uh, he'll die very quickly. The thing is, people often don't care about this and they just sit there AFK when they finish the site and then they get wrecked. Okay, so we're going to wreck this sleeper cruiser right here. Recall drones, and it's simple as that, simple as that. You can use the shield booster as much. In fact, you should use the shield booster as much as you can until you get full shields or until you get less than 33% capacitor. The reason is because your capacitor it has its best recharge rate at 33%, so you're kind of using your capacitor more efficiently by having the level of your capacitor be at 33% because then it'll be always at like the highest recharge rate. Don't allow it to go below 33% though because then its recharge rate will go down. So just keep that in mind. Uh, it's basically the same wave. So super simple, super simple. We'll have our drones go for this guy right here and start shooting him. We've got not too good range with our light missiles but it's still something and we can shoot him almost straight away. Uh, when you're an Omega clone you can use a lot more range on your missiles it's really nice and my guy agro bruto he's only trade alpha clone skills so it's not like i'm using an omega clone or something like that he is only trained alpha clone skills he is an omega clone but he doesn't have anything like omega clone trained so he's not got any omega skills trained okay so we go here and we can see here we get about maybe five million isk per site something like that it's pretty pretty decent isk and especially when you do these sites very fast if you can do 10 of these or more an hour you'll be really it'll be really nice and especially if you get lucky drops because that's possible to happen then it'll be even more so you see here we had that sound it means that we're getting close to 33 percent so that's when you don't want to use your uh, shield booster because then it'll be not efficient when it comes to your capacitor but we want to keep using it until we have either full shields or we get 33 percent capacitor so you can see here we'll hear that notification very soon they see that okay so now we want to stop using it just uh, you know it's uh, efficiency right here efficiency right here <laughs> uh, no, we wreck this guy really hard okay there we go we can even recall our drones there we go 
can uh, use our shield booster again, we can reload our missiles, and we will go to the next wave and wreck this next wave that tries to face us. Let's see what we get. The rogue drone waves are usually the fastest waves, they're just so fast, they're so easy. See if we get them. Oh, Caribbean Tyrannos. Okay, so this is a pretty slow wave just because it's a battleship. But Caribbean Tyrannos is not particularly f uh, a tanky battleship, so it's still not as slow as like these uh, Abyssal Overmind, for example. But he's uh, he's a slower toilet Abyssal Overmind, I believe is what he's called. Okay, we can lock this guy up too. And make sure you hold down Q and like sort of go in an arc. You don't want to approach this guy directly because he can do a lot of damage to you if you face him head on. So what we want to do here is we're coming here in an arc. Hold down Q and just like double click here. You go like sort of like to, to the side. Uh, especially we do not want to double click in space like this because we'll go for infinity and if we go for infinity we'll go in that tachyon cloud right there and we'll go straight out of the abyssal boundaries and die horribly so here now we're already coming close to Caribbean just orbit him close uh, orbit 500 and he'll basically do more damage you can even just take some of the loot actually we can use the shield boost to get our shields up to max very simple very simple we can in fact even approach this loot cache right here no, oh, I wanted to shoot one there. I shot a missile at Caribbean instead. Annoying, but it's all right. Okay. <laughs> this. Let's see if we get some lucky drops from here, or we get really crap drops. Well, I wonder what we get. Give us some good loot. Okay, one million. I mean, not uh, not amazing, but still we got something. Uh, okay, abyssal loot. We've got four point eight million from this site. Decent, decent. Can potentially get a lot more. I've sometimes got like seven, eight, ten million from one site. It all depends on the luck, it all depends on the luck, and also the time you do it in, it also depends on the luck as well. You do a site very fast if you get good spawns, do a site very slow if you get bad spawns. You see here, Tachyon Cloud makes us go very fast, we do not want to, we want to be very careful. Because look, if I go here, I'm going to go so fast, we could potentially go outside the boundary box that is somewhere there. Or we'll just lose our ship. Okay, keep shooting. Our, our missiles are not even actually doing any damage because he's too far away. There we go. Gonna recall our drones. That's the good thing about drones is that they keep doing damage even though when you go out of range, it's like uh, they'll just sit there on the enemy NPC. Like, okay, we went out of a drone control range. We've got a drone control range of 40 on this character, but uh, if we were to go out of 40 kilometer range, they'll still be doing damage, which is a nice thing about drones. Okay, there we go. Done the site pretty quickly, pretty quickly. And we earn some nice isk. And I think that this is a very good way to earn isk as an alpha clone because you're not spending as much isk as a gila, but you're still earning more than, like, I don't know, something else that would run a T1 abysses, like a Punisher or a. Uh, like a destroyer or something else. So here's the thing when you go out of here always make sure that you see that there is no guy here ganking you. If there was say there was a guy here ganking me, I hold down Q, I go away from him, overheat my afterburner, overheat my shield boost, overheat this and shoot him with my drones and I'll then boost this as well. You're going to see we go very fast now and hopefully he won't kill you and you'll kill him before he kills you or until you'll survive at least until Congo comes here. If, if there are many destroyers probably you'll die but if the usually the people who hunt these kind of guys who run solo frigates like this is usually just one destroyer and you can usually just kill them. So just don't sleep when you exit the abyssal site because I have done that and as you can see here I have died. <laughs> Because I was really just basically AFK. I was watching a YouTube video and uh, I just exited the site. I was like, oh, whatever. And it's like, oh, I just get popped. I hear my whole time. And I'm like, what? Is that from the video? Is it from the uh, the actual uh, site? Because I uh, I was watching an Evil Online video. Okay, let's dock up here and go and sell our loot. So let's see what, what this gives us. Sometimes you can potentially get the T3 filaments. That's what gives you really good isk. So if we just stack all here and put all the f isk right here, abyssal loot, and highlight this all and sell it. And just highlight it. Yeah, good, good, good. And we can then look here. See, they've got 4.3 million. Something that you can from time to time get is a fierce filament. And there are particularly some fierce filaments that are worth a lot. Electricals go for 3 million, which is very nice. Exotics go for 2 million, which is also very nice. You can see these gammas go for 3 million, which is also very nice. So you can see that like some of these could be worth quite a bit. So if you got like a couple of these, you would earn a lot of this just from the filaments. And that's not even including all the like zero point condensate and all that other kind of stuff you would get. So if you're lucky, you can get some really good isk. As I said before, it's not like as good as a gila doing, for example, T3s, but it is close and it's a lot cheaper. 
uh, it's a lot less skill intensive as well. So it's a good like stepping stone for going into a gila. Like you could say the worm is like a mini gila, so to say. A lot of the skills you, or basically all the skills you use for the worm translate into the gila. You've got drone skills, you've got missile skills. They all translate, and the shield skills as well, all translate into the gila so that you're not wasting your skills really. You'll be taking advantage of them as well when you upgrade to, or if you decide to upgrade to a gila later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video right here. A worm fit for alpha clones that does T1 exotics super fast and some nice isk. 60 to 70, 50 to 70 million isk an hour. Depends on spawns, depends on loot. Uh, is some really decent isk I must say, especially for just being here in a high sec as someone who's got a worm. It is uh, something I think that is a really nice activity to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.